TNT is presented by State Farm. The Boston Celtics are the number one team in the Eastern Conference. The 76ers are number nine on the outside looking in. And back in for time, the last eight or ten days, he's been able to go through shoot arounds, get some practice time, Kevin. Catch by Sarge, but you got to finish off layup. Can't be missing layup this game. Here's Al Horford from outside, multiple All Stars. Nights ago, a loss here to New Orleans by three in overtime. 116. What a play and flying inside! Here's Jason Tatum. The taller and more physical team in the NBA. Here comes Al Horford, draws the defense of Embiid, and banks it home. Nice shot by Horford. Top rebounding rookie in the NBA. Sharic inside, and a good cut by Bayless for two. You gotta cut hard in there. If you're open, you get rewarded uh, with nice passing by the by your fellow teammates. Brown working into some defense. Finds Baines who grinds and puts a lead. And picked up by Baines once again. Joel Embiid. Pretty shot. Nice move. Oh, nice. It's a pump fake and up and under, but Joel Embiid's got it all. Great hands, great feel, and a high basketball IQ. Sharic will put it through. Anthony Davis a couple nights ago here by three. Horford will dance with Simmons and fire away. Horford at four. Conference, I asked Coach Brett Brown why it should happen. He told me that the quality he's most attracted to is his fiercely competitive nature. We then told Coach Brown. And it picked up by Sharic. With Simmons inside nice. Amir Johnson, who played last couple years here in Boston with a 10-4 run right now. We had Rozier sliding it out. Marcus Morris mismatch on McConnell and puts it down. Marcus Morris had 12 shot here, igniting the Celtics break. I sure like what Rozier is providing as a backup, and he puts it in, flying off the wing. Up there coming off the bench, Justin Anderson, Trevor Booker for the Philadelphia 76ers. Good look away, Booker inside, and he puts it up and through. But even a step further, defensively, the switch out, and then he guarded Rozier yeah. that whole time into a very difficult pass out where Morris missed. Our NBA TNT doubleheader, here comes Daniel Tyson. In and out, and B knocks it away. Rozier gobbles it up and in. Tice has the ball. Outside, Morris, free for three. Two threes and fours, and we'll get on the off we'll get on the offensive defensive glass for you. Boston gets their first three of the night on six tries, and inside Booker grind. Here's Al Horford, who has started three of three. And then Brown, Tice, got Covington on balance and open. Two-point shot is put. Technically called a bad shot. It's not a bad shot if it goes in. This is Justin Anderson who played at the University of Virginia, putting up on three, and he knocks it up. It was assaulting a referee to try to get a timeout call <laughs> because they did not put a lot of block. Wow. Nice play. First, yeah, he starts with number one listening in the huddle. Yeah. You gotta know what the play is coming out of a, a timeout or end of a quarter. Over Rozier, this is Embiid who knocks it in from outside by the veteran Trevor Booker. Fade away. Morris hustling in, gets the ball, works on Covington, wheels back inside. Gets the nose is over. Locking up in London. Philadelphia had a 22 point lead and lost it. Davis with a nice turnover and a pickup. Turnovers are just killing him. And, you know, with turnovers, you can't oh, set no. your defense. Nice pass. Boy, wow. nice little back screen there. And, Beautiful find coming in two tonight. Smart, the shot clock is down to five. Works on Johnson here as Simmons trying to handle Horford with two to five. There's that point. Covering up and switching. No question. They're converting to the ball and making yep. the Celtics make the extra pass. That's where a lot of these turnovers are coming from. In desperation shots, but sometimes they will drop. Aaron Davis and Steve Smith. So that was a nice conversation we had during the break as Covington knocks down a three. You know, everyone's talking about the player in this building. What do you think, Hall of Famer? Yeah, I tell you what, they won a championship here. He was defensive player of the year here. He wore number five for 21 was already hit. Five defensive team. Justin Anderson picked off by Rozier. Chased by Covington. He'll sail in. And just like that, the Celtics within Boston's made some fantastic passes to Philly, and Philly's made some really nice passes to Boston. <laughs> but that's not what we're trying to do here out here, fellas. Sarich. <laughs> nice drive by Sarge. He won the few times you're going to the third quarter. Let's swing it over to Kristen Ludlow.
Kevin, I talked to Coach Brad Stevens at the half, and I mentioned those 15 turnovers and asked how he could Two points, and we came and walked them down. Yeah. I know we don't have Kyrie, but we're at home, and I think we're just going to come out and show up and win. And you, you can't do this in this league. <laughs> <laughs> one will go. If he keeps shooting, one will go, I promise you. Simmons with a great spin move and a reverse inside for the Sixer. Play player in this yeah. game. Born and uh, raised in the Chicago area. He's out now. Anderson takes his place. Brown with a three, and he puts it in. Found the open man, and yet Philly kept working that entire possession defensively, tried to contest that shot. And again, you talked about it earlier. The extra pass quite as well as they did last year. Now, last year they, they drove and kicked a little bit more, kicked a little bit more, and uh, you see Marcus Carr drive in there and get a layup. That kind of caters to his strength in isolation and one-on-one -on -one basketball. Nice move once again by Embiid, beat by Philly and. You saw the two right there, Drain, and here's a pick. Deflected and picked up by Larkin, who sails the other way. Around more court time, so he can find better chemistry with his teammates. How about that? He just found the open man, and if a double team came on him, and he... Be finding the far corner man open. No, I just think he's going to do more and more. I really do, Reggie. I just think he's a, you know, he's a kind of a phenom. <laughs> really close. <laughs> but I think they're going to uh, open him up. To try to he draws that foul and an and one. That's what we've seen on the last two possessions here for Philly. They go at him again. Let's see if they play him any different. He goes to McConnell and again he finds him and again the same result. Try 18 the other day against Toronto. Off the bench, as good a score as there is. And assist man Brown forcing the issue and putting it almost picked off. Out to Covington. He's free and a mid ranger with the rebound fought for by Booker. Picked up by MP. Puts it in. And it looked like he gave. Kevin, even you, I mean, as much as you admire play by big men, when you watch him for a fall, he's working, takes it up and in. Makes this move in just such a short time in the league. I'd like to see if he can develop that a little bit. He's got a few yeah. touch, as you see right there. And I mean, he's rolling right now, passing. A little double team starting to happen now. Yep, they're trying to tighten things up. Here's McConnell, triple, close, Larkin, didn't matter. And that's the double team trying to force him into turnovers. And again, the only way you come back on this is you got to score off your defense. Port for three. Well, dribble penetration. Yeah. Smart, and they're switching on defense. August Price to the Johnson. Hey, starting to creep back here a little bit. You're right. That's a very good point. Kyrie not here because of a shoulder issue. 7 0 run Boston. Charge to the rack. Uh huh. Good answer. Yep, sure why. He's in all kinds of stuff. And I looked down at like the third quarter. He had all this food down by his feet on the floor. Here once he reached out to pick up some food. Here's a nice play inside and off. Like I said before, they're eighth in the NBA. They've improved that category. Without Kyrie Irving and then here's Simmons. This is where he does most of his damage, as you can see. Nifty instrument of the All-Star Reserves on that broadcast right here on TNT. That'll count. Put it in with a dive. We talked about that this morning. I'm you do, you do agree on this, right? Yeah, well, we discussed it this morning, and I think that's over. All worthy. Yeah. yeah. Those two offensive fouls towards the end of that game on James Harden. Brown in the corner. Tatum. What a shot. Joel Embiid was just too much for the Celtics. Just overpowered him on the inside, made beautiful little turnaround jump shots, rebounded the ball well. He you know, had a fantastic game. In fact, you said this is kind of an old school feel of them playing through the post, which yeah. in the day's game, everything's a three point. I know Shaq's in the studio probably liking this, that the old school feel, let's play through our post and get our offense that way. Love seeing that, Reggie. You don't see it nearly enough anymore. Right. 76ers are now a game over 500 for the first time in five weeks. They've won five of six. They go to 21 and 20. They have a better record on the road at 11 and 10 than they do at